All right, everybody. How are you? Welcome into the week. I hope you're doing great. Um, this week in Pathfinders, we're going to continue on with our Nature Spirits um, series. I'm going to talk more about earthing. I'm going to talk more about uh, working with tree spirits, working with different kinds of spirits. Last week, we talked about the fairies. And um, so this week, we're going to continue that. Uh, this week in my astrology group, we are going to start embark upon um, for the rest of the year. We're going to be talking about these major transits that I've been talking about. Pluto, Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, uh, all the outer planets moving into different signs. Those three outer planets, Pluto, Neptune and Uranus. Remarkable moving into air and fire signs versus being in earth and water signs. So this is going to be a really big shift for humanity. And so I'm going to take the rest of the year and talk about how each of these transits is going to be impacting you personally and also relationally in terms of your finances, in terms of the collective, also what we might see uh, as we move into the, uh, the age of Aquarius. So if you want to jump on to my astrology group, this is an excellent time to do that. There's a link below. Um, we are going to be bringing our twin flame and regular astrology group together in November. So it's all going to be one not to worry. All right. Underneath divine masculine. I've been talking about this, um, frequently about, well, this is Pluto, right? We're talking about Pluto is shaking, um, the divine masculine, uh, the masculine, um, world as we have come to know it, hierarchical institutions that are very top down kind of thing. That is really in play right now. Okay. I see affluence here. Wow. And look at this divine feminine. Holy smokes. One of the things I talk about a lot on this channel, and whether you're a twin flame or you identify with that or not, this really is about the masculine and feminine polarity on this planet. And this has to do with a rise of the divine feminine. Uh, a flattening out of this hierarchical patriarchal kind of existence and the feminine really playing a strong role in that. Um, a lot of times when I see the emperor, which is divine masculine, which is Aries energy, this is Venus, right? That is the divine feminine. The masculine is that Aries Mars kind of energy. And right now Mars is in cancer, which is a very uncomfortable place for the divine masculine. It's about understanding their feelings and it's just like, you know, they're like a, you know, this is not about men. This is about a divine masculine energy. Now you can see it manifesting in men or you can see it manifesting in your own life if you really are heavily aligning with your divine masculine side, because we all have both. And you can see that the things that are about power and control and determination even like this is not just about the shadow side of Mars but when Mars is in cancer there's kind of this energy I keep talking about this I just get this image of like a 16 year old boy that you just want to hug on and love him and let him know he's he's wonderful and everything and he's just like ah, just get away from me right like that's what's going on. I feel the divine feminine is trying to say hey listen this is going to be good we're going to it's going to be joyful and, and fun and everything like that. And the masculine's like, no, I just want you all to go away. And I want you to leave me alone to roll around in my thousand dollar bills or whatever it is. <laughs> okay. So there's something like that going on energetically on the planet. And I will say, cause the affluence card is there, which is why I said that, but the affluence card, it's about like true abundance. What is our definition of true abundance? And there has to be, and I feel like this is why the divine feminine is making such a strong showing right now is that there ha there, you know, love is not a disposable plug and play one size fits all experience, nor is it something that we can really live without, but it does need to be balanced. And I feel like a lot of you might be seeing your patterns in love right now especially if you are um, going through some kind of big transition in your relationship area of your life, 
shine that is being the light is being shine shown shine shining the light is shining on shadow if there is no reason to fear the pluto 29 degree capricorn experience if you have used your power for good and not evil in the past 15 years if you have used your power to dominate and control other people if you have used your power whatever power you have to make life miserable for people. Um, that's usually a very karmic, Pluto in this 29th degree is very karmic, has a loud karmic kabang to it, okay? So if you have, like, let's look at you know, Chef Jose, right? Using his power to feed people. Use He could be the most famous, ho you know, in uh, all the world, you know, just being a chef, and he has been. But this now is about him moving into something that's going to help other people, right? Um, if you, there's plenty of examples of people who've used their power to squash other people or to be haters or whatever it is, or to corrupt other people or turn them into haters. You know, it's got to be there to begin with because we all have, we're all very complex. But if you hook something and you flip on the switch in just the right way, that's a very manipulative use of your power. And so if you have used your, especially in friendships or in love relationships, if there has been any kind of, uh, this is why the explosion of narcissism has happened over the past 15 years since 2008, because it is about domination, power, and control. This is why that conversation uh, or that um, um, type, that that personality spectrum, right? It's a spectrum. You can get worse and you can get better. At some point you cross a line where there's no coming back from it. But think about how you have used your power or how other people have used their power over you, or how you have relinquished your power and just been a victim of something instead of saying, okay, this is, this person's dominating me or controlling me or having power over me. And what, what does it take? And for me, it's been a series of those kinds of experiences where I really learned I need to stand up for myself. I need to stay, I need to stay away from anybody who has that kind of personality because this is just super unhealthy and it's not something that I can love another person into healing with. Okay. So let's keep going. Trust, courage. I am feeling here. Oh yeah, there it is. Lucky. Okay. So I am feeling that, um, and I've talked about this with my twin flame group because the divine feminine and masculine are here. And this, this energy of, of affluence is here. It's sort of like hitting the lottery, uh, based on your relationship power, right? It's, it's no longer being, you know, pushed apart. It's no longer having that, um, experience in your life trust and courage. And then a little bit of luck is going to be required. Uh, I feel like a lot of masculines, and I've talked about this too, a lot of masculines have um, gone down some kind of rabbit hole. A lot of feminines have shut the door on masculines. Okay. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of unity happening probably after March of 2025. And I'll talk more about that in the astrology group of like why that might be. OK, so it just has this energy signature as Pluto moves into Aquarius. Now, Aquarius is not the most lovey-dovey sign. In fact, it's quite cool. But there is something about um, healing that goes along with Aquarius. The Aquarius card is the star. And there is something about healing and hope. OK, coming in. So let's see what's going on here. This is for whoever needs to hear this message right now. All right. Underneath is the four of wands, two of cups, world, three of swords, and the three of cups. Here's the ace of cups. So a lot of you, I know this to be true. I've done the readings all year long. And I, last year when I was talking about 2024, the energy of 2024 as an eight year did portend the end 
of a lot of relationships that were built on an old paradigm that were built either on um, some kind of faulty or shadow side of what love is. Um, so that there were third parties involved, there were all kinds of stuff, but there was never any real honesty. It was just very, um, stressful. It might've looked good to the outside world, but, and I, I feel like you're going to be hearing this a lot, or you might've heard this a lot this year, all of a sudden these people are getting divorced or these people are breaking up and you're like, it looked fine to me, but it wasn't fine. The shadow, what, what we're going into is the ultimate in revealing and shining a light on unhealthy patterns. I feel like that's one of the biggest thing that's being healed right now is it, it used, especially when it comes to power and control. And you may not think of, uh, like, for example, you might have a relationship that, you know, isn't great, but it isn't terrible, but there's something here that just says like, Oh, I, you know, I feel like I walk on eggshells around this person, or I feel like they have a, an addiction and I can't love them enough to make them stop or whatever it is. There's just something about taking back your power. Taking back your power is the answer. And it's kind of like, so you could see this showing up as I've tried everything. I've been this person, that person. I've twisted myself around for this person. I've been you know, strong and, and responsible. And I've been weak and letting them do it. I've been this, I've been that I've been, I've tried every single, I've tried, you know, connecting to them and in, intellectually I've tried, you know, uh, aligning with their favorite hobby. I've tried, I've tried a million things and it's, it's for me, this is not working. Okay. This is not working anymore. Cause I feel like you're finally getting honest with yourself that this is not working anymore. This could be a parent, this could be a friend, this could be a sibling, this could be a love partner, this could be a spouse, this could be a child. It could be a grandparent. It's like enough and enough with giving away my power just to make this work with you. Okay? So, 8 of wands, 7 of pentacles. I just feel like you've put your all into this. Some of you are really like, okay, there's an I'm exhausted by this. Okay. Justice is here balancing things out. Four of cups, five of swords and the 10 of cups. All right. Some of you are not going to want to hear this. This is a slight trigger warning. This person wants you to be the one that says it's over. They don't want to be the bad guy, but they're on purpose dragging their feet. And so they're saying, okay, they're kind of saying like, whatever you try and do, they kind of kibosh it. They kind of, you know, whatever. And super happy when you're saying like, okay, I'm out, right? Justice says, this has got to be either more balanced or I'm out. And they're kind of happy with that. Now, some of you could be saying, why isn't this working or where are we going here? And where we're going here is you to stand up for yourself. 29 degrees. Pluto in Capricorn. Take back your power. Take back your power. Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups. Look at that. Look at this beautiful. So there's been this struggle, Seven of Wands, Four of Cups. It's almost like you've been trying to get someone to hear you, to get listen to you. You put in a lot of work and effort on this, my darling. And finally, like enough's enough. I have to protect my heart. I have to stand up for myself. And you know what that's going to get you. You know that this person is going to not be able to handle anything that is a rebalancing of power. Okay. A rebalancing of power. They won't be able to do it. And I feel like they're trying to get you to say that they're, they're, the behavior is becoming egregious. This five of swords. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, Hermit, and the Eight of Cups. They, this person knows what they're doing. Okay. Knight of Wands and Page of Wands. This person's a child. Okay. This person is having a hard time with 
with any kind of commitment in their life. They're having a hard time. They're just, you know, they're not, they're not a grown up. They're not, you know, you're, uh, you cannot, it's apples and oranges. This person doesn't see this the way you see it. I don't think they're going to see it the way you see it. And so that can be distressing. It's almost like if I say enough, they're going to go, okay. And that might be hard to hear. All right. That might be hard to hear because it does feel a little bit like, what have I been doing all this time? And I feel like you're going to see this very clearly the minute you take back your power. Talk to me about this justice card here. The minute you take back your power. Five of cups, queen of swords, wheel. That's what you're meant to do here. Yep. Nine of swords, temperance, and the six of wands. So this part is like, okay, rip the bandaid off. All right. You're going to, I feel like some of you don't really want to know where you stand. Because it's not where you hope. And, but it's important that you get the facts. Okay. That's what, that's what is being asked of you by spirit right now. And it's like, oh God, I don't want to get them. But Archangel Michael is here to help you move forward. The six of wands. And some of you are struggling with this because this might be a divine masculine. And you're like, well, I'm not supposed to kick them out of my life. Why not? Why not? A lot of people, I've heard from a lot of you, and a lot of you are saying right now that they just need to go and figure it out. Like, I can't do this for them anymore. I'm not going to figure, I'm not going to do that for them anymore. Nine and ten of cups. Look at where you're going here. Tower. Eight of swords. Oh, good. Look at you. Six of swords, five of pentacles, and the ace of wands. So this is something that you are going to get to what you want. I feel like you're stuck here because someone made you feel guilty. We got three of the fives already. Do we have all four? No, just three. Three of the fives. So this person made you feel guilty or made you feel like they can't survive without you. Or this person's going to get themselves in financial trouble uh, if you're not there to support them. Or there's something like that this around, uh, especially if this is a divorce, you're feeling guilty around that. And that's what they want you to feel. That is what they want you to feel. Ace of wands and King of wands. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is on the other side of this. So some of you are not doing this because you're worried that there'll never be another person. Not true. Not true. This person is out of alignment with you. You're staying in the low vibe, the shadow side of not taking back your power because you're afraid. You don't want to hear what they really have to say. You don't want to hear what they really feel about you. I just feel like you have some kind of um, child or some kind of person here. They're, they could have a child, but I actually feel like that's their energy that they're not stepping up or taking responsibility at all. So this is about taking back your power, my darling. I feel like I'm talking to some divine feminines here. And yes, are you going to hear some things, this justice card? Are you going to hear some things that you might not want to hear? Yeah, but it's kind of like rip the bandaid off because if you don't do that, then you're sitting in a fantasy. Don't you really want to know? Do you really want to know? Sometimes, I mean, the answer to that, I can hear you being like, actually, I don't think I want to know. But what does that tell you? Right? That you already do know. All right, I'm going to continue on with this. I want to see about this King of Wands, Ace of Wands. There is something really good right over the right over the horizon. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. This person needs to get out of your way. So it can be a friend or a family member or somebody that's not a love relationship getting in the way of a love relationship or vice versa. Somebody who's close to you in your life, maybe a love partner, and they're getting in the way of your joy. Mm. Take your power back. All right. Link is below. If you want to continue on with me, I will see you over there. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.